In this video, I will show you the sign up process on Oracle Cloud so that you may access the Oracle Cloud free tier. So this is what we are going to do. Go to your browser, type in Oracle Cloud. These are some of the results that you'll see. In my case, I'm in, located in Kenya, so I'm going to choose the free tier option. And then you'll be told to either sign in, start for free, which is you can also sign in here if you have already an account. But in our case, we don't have an account. We're assuming that you don't have an account, so we want to start for free. And let's start for free so that you may sign up. So they will give you a form, which looks like this. You have to fill this form. So make sure to fill this form, your country, your first name, your last name, and then an email address, and then confirm that you are human. Then you'll be requested to verify your email, just verify your email. So an email verification link has been sent. So let's check our inbox. Let's see what we have. This is the verification. So click on verify email. They will be directed to this page, to your browser. Now your email is verified. Create a password, a strong password, just maybe suggest strong password. Are you a company or individual? If you're an individual, just type in your individual and then they'll try to suggest a cloud name. Mm, just maybe you can go with Josh WP, cloud account name, Josh WP. Choose your own region. Make sure to read the note. It says, because of high demand of HAM Empire A1, compute capacity in South Korea, Central um, Japan is maybe limited. So make sure when you're choosing a region, don't choose either Tokyo, that is Japan or Korea, Central. So I'll choose a location that is close to me. I think South Africa, Central, Johannesburg is good. I've chosen South Africa. Once you've chosen the region, it cannot be changed after signing up. So make sure to be wise when choosing it. You're told that this name already exists. So we're going to use something else like um, maybe Cloud4. Continue, click continue. In the next form, you'll be required to fill your details. That is address line, your city, state, zip code county and uh, also your phone number. Make sure all the details you fill, they're right and accurate because you will also be required to fill details concerning about your credit card for verification purpose and uh, they will charge you a dollar and the money will be reversed instantly, immediately or within 24 hours. So don't worry about that. And once that is completed, make sure to agree to terms and then start your free trial. So once you're done, you'll be directed to this page where you'll see various items. Use the resources on the large resources. You can create a VM instance. This is always free eligible. Make sure to use all the resources which are always free eligible so that you may never incur anything, you may never be charged. So these are the resources that you'll find on the free tier. We have two AMD base compute uh, VM virtual machine and we have one CPU and one GB memory each that if you, you choose the two of them and uh, you can also choose another option uh, the first option these ones are not very powerful they are really not good but however you can use this for installing cyber panel and then we also have a uh, Amp base ampere cause. In this case, you can you can you have up to twenty four GB of memory that is RAM and uh, four virtual cores to use. So in total, you can either create one virtual machine with all the resources that is with with four CPUs and twenty four GB RAM, or you can create four different instances that is virtual machines each with one well, cpu and around six yeah around uh, with six gb ram and then you have a uh, block storage of 200 
GB. This is the storage that we're going to be given 200 GB. And then something else you need to see it's um, the outbound transfer. The bandwidth is 10 tetrabyte per month. This is a lot. This is around for those who are running basic websites. These are several million visits per month. So you don't have to worry about that. And uh, the email deliverability on the free TI is really poor. So you can, it's better to use um, SMTP relay. So that's all. These are the resources that you have on the free tier. So you can check the links on the description below to see how you can set up various web panels and then install WordPress and so on and so forth. So I hope this was helpful. See you next time.